Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to go over top end. So top end is a function within the DAX language which has a number of different usage, usages within uh, your reports or for certain insights so what, you know, that you want to extract. Before I go on, I just want to mention if you do want to download this resource with the formulas in it, you can. Uh, just via a very small investment, you can see the link uh, in the description. Okay, so top end, what it does is it basically does this internal ranking. So you can, instead of using rank X as a filtering function, you can actually use top end and it creates some additional context or additional filters based on a ranking. So really, really, really powerful function that uh, makes writing quite complex calculations or extracting quite complex insight relatively seamless actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a really quick table here. I'm going to grab the state and we're going to look at the state by, uh, well, let's have a look at its total sales. Okay, so we've got uh, total sales for each different state. But think about this. What if within this context, so within the state context, we actually wanted to return the top, the, sorry, the sales for only the top two products, for example. And it's, it's, so it's, it's almost like you want to create a ranking within a context, and then you want to return a, a result which is based on that ranking. So we can do that. We can do it with top end. This is, this is the perfect way to use top end. So let's actually write the measure and see what it looks like. So I'm going to go sales of top two products. And I'm just going to jump down to another line here. And there's actually a couple of ways you could get exactly the same answer. I'm going to showcase them both to you here. But the first one, first way we're going to do is through calculate. I'm going to go calculate total sales. And then instead of using rank, rank X or something like that, I'm going to use top end here. So I'm just going to jump down to another line and I'm going to go top end. Top end is a filtering function. It's, a, it's basically creating a virtual table that, that creates a filter. And I'm going to say, well, my end value is two because I want the top two products. My table is products. So you're going to reference a table. I'm going to order the expression by product name. And then I'm going to go from uh, highest to lowest, so ascending. You could actually also uh, you know, do bottom products, obviously, so it's, it would be pretty easy to get there from here. And then I just push enter, and then if I drag this into the table, you're going to see we're getting, we're getting a much smaller result, right? So if I then change this over, uh, sorry, format it, I'm just going to format this. Actually, I'm just going to double check, because this is descending. Actually, no. So it looks like, well, there's obviously we sell a lot of products here, but ascending is, is uh, going to be from your highest to lowest. Now, that's pretty cool, right? So we have very quickly been able to create a, uh, just extract from this context what it, what the two top sales uh, of our, our, well, some of the sales of our top two products. And think about how quickly you could maneuver this into something else. You could say, well, what are my top 10 clients? What are my... Uh, what are my top 10 salespeople, so on and so forth. And you could add a, even more context here and then uh, layer this top end on top of it. Now, we can actually get exactly the same result a different way too, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Um, so we're gonna use top end still, but we're going to, instead of putting it inside calculate, we're actually gonna put it inside a sum x. So I'm gonna go sales of top two products. And then I'm just going to go sum x here instead to showcase that this is sum x. And then I'm going to go sum x. And then inside, so you can see here we can put a table. You don't only have to put like an actual physical table. You can put a virtual table. And it's exactly what we're going to do with top in. I'm going to go top in. And then I'm going to go just exactly the same uh, logic as before. So I'm just going to have products. Then my product name. And then I'm going to go ascending. And then to finish it off, we just want to go total sales. So we're going to get exactly the same result here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to drag that in, and then all we've got to do is do some additional formatting like we did before. And there we go. We've got exactly the same insight using top end. But these are the two ways, two classic ways that you can use top end. And then from here, uh, you know, I, I, I 
become a really big fan of these data bars. We could actually add these data bars to the table too. And very quickly, you could get you could get lots of insights there. So, you know, all I needed to do if I wanted to if I wanted to look at what, what about my top ten customers, all I'd need to do is come here and utilize this this I guess pattern if you like. And then we could just go customers. And I don't need the sumx there. I'll just take that out. But I'm going to change my parameters in here. I'm going to change that to ten. I'm going to go and grab my customers table. I'm going to go and grab my customer name. So I'm just changing the parameters very quickly. You could so easily do this. And then I'm going to drag this in here. You're going to see, well, this is what the top the sales of our top 10 were. And I'm going to just format that. And if you think about what you could do, even from here, which, which is seriously cool, is you could branch out again. You could say, well, okay, well, what is the percent of sales that are attributed to our top 10 customers, something like that. And then we could create another measure and we could say percent of sales, just to abbreviate it. We can go sales of top 10 divided by total sales. And obviously it looks like it's a pretty small number because there's a lot of a lot of we have a lot of customers here. But if we wanted to, let's actually let's actually go far, let's go 50 here. And that changes it up a little bit as well. So hopefully you can see, seriously, seriously cool function, right? When used in an appropriate way. I mean, really quickly, you can start segmenting or classifying your um, uh, your dimensions, you know, and really diving in and saying, well, and finding these insights like, well, how, how much of our, um, you know, the, you think about most of your customers might um, make up, well, a small portion of your customers might make up a very large portion of your sales. Well, this is a way you could quickly figure it out, right? You could actually, um, instead of, um, putting 50 here, you could go and calculate, well, how many customers do you have? Calculate 80% of those customers, um, or 20% of those customers for that 80-20 rule. That this is, this is just what's coming to my mind right now, and you could actually work out very quickly via this function, um, you know, how much of your sales are actually attributed to those top 20% of customers, or whatever percent of customers. So really cool technique. Okay, so I'm going to round things off there. Hopefully you've got some good insight about how you would use top end now. There's so many applications for this. It's seriously, seriously amazing. Um, you, could, you could create an entire report just from insights generated from top end, I believe. Um, so just a reminder, if you want to uh, purchase this uh, this resource, uh, you can. It's just a small investment. Uh, with it, you get all the resources uh, that associate to training videos on uh, on Power BI, uh, on Enterprise DNA TV. So a really good package there. Um, if you love the content, always appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe uh, because there is going to be uh, fresh, awesome Power BI content uh, every weekday coming out of Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, so signing off and uh, until next time, good luck with it.